Recruiting top talent requires perfect teamwork. I'm very fortunate to have had the chance to work with many talented individuals to attract both young talent and stars to the country. When I started visiting Singapore nearly 25 years ago, I soon realized that Singapore was very fertile ground for the models of industry academic collaboration. The greatest challenges facing Singapore are an aging society, sustainability, and the AI revolution. Finding powerful, holistic solutions to address these three challenges requires expertise from multiple disciplines by bringing together clinicians, computer scientists, and behavioral scientists. AI system can be created to slow down aging by helping people better control their chronic diseases. Researchers prefer to stay within their own academic discipline. Creating common goals for researchers through grand challenges is one way to get multiple disciplines to work together. They can see how their own discipline and other disciplines can contribute to address these grand challenges. AI's ability to mine vast amount of data will quicken the pace of scientific discoveries. It will speed up its application across many fields. We are working hard to accelerate research translation from lab to market. Soon, there will be a national incubator program to provide training for scientists who want to be entrepreneurs. This will dramatically increase the pool of tech entrepreneurs in Singapore. I think he was a big cat for NUS when he was persuaded to return to Singapore under the Return Scientist Scheme. Professor Ho is ambitious, uh, not for himself but for his organisation and for Singapore. He's always been thinking about how to build up that talent pipeline and he's been able to conceptualize a number of good programs in this regard. But he's also been very strong in his ability to attract uh, top talent from overseas, not just the local talent. It has been a rewarding journey coming back to Singapore. I can be bold knowing that I always have the support of my colleagues. Singapore has strong universities with a keen focus on industry collaboration. A national research organisation, ASTAR, that sees translation of research as a key part of its mission. In a good industry-academic partnership, industry gets access to a wider pool of talent and cutting-edge technology. Universities and research institutes tackle real-world problems and have the satisfaction of seeing their work turn into impact and economic growth for Singapore. I was able to initiate joint labs with ASTAR, create the ARTC as an advanced manufacturing consortium with industrial membership, and establish the Rolls-Royce corporate lab at NTU. TCOMS, it's a world-class marine simulation facility which can support the local maritime industry, but also attract partners from overseas. Key priorities for partnerships in the future would be in climate change, developing industry based on new technologies such as quantum and artificial intelligence, and by investing in the latest advanced manufacturing technology. Rick has been leveraging his networks to uh, grant access uh, to Singaporean scientists and to help make Singapore a focal point for manufacturing in the Asia Pacific. He understands stakeholders' interests and is able to package proposals such that all the participating stakeholders are happy. I've sponsored over 2,500 PhDs worldwide. When I meet some of these people, they tell me of the benefit of working on an industry-focused PhD and how it provided a launch pad for their future. In the coming years, our goal is to support and empower our researchers to create solutions that will make the world a better place and improve the lives of Singaporeans. My dream is to produce some Nobel Prize and Turing Award winners.